I would like to begin tonight's proceeding differently than perhaps any other event of such magnitude. On behalf of our nation, I want to apologize to Brett and the entire Kavanaugh family for the terrible pain and suffering you have been forced to endure. Those who step forward to serve our country deserve a fair and dignified evaluation, not a campaign of political and personal destruction based on lies and deception. What happened to the Kavanaugh family violates every notion of fairness, decency, and due process. Our country, a man or a woman, must always be presumed innocent unless and until proven guilty. And with that, I must state that you, sir, under historic scrutiny, were proven innocent. Thank you. Margaret and Eliza, your father is a great man. He is a man of decency, character, kindness, and courage, who has devoted his life to serving his fellow citizens. And now, from the bench of our nation's highest court, your father will defend the eternal rights and freedoms of all Americans. You know that. We are joined tonight by a leader who has never wavered in his support and devotion to the rule of law and to Brett Kavanaugh's elevation. He's worked very, very hard, and he truly has done just an incredible and wonderful job for the American people. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Thank you, Mitch. Please, stand up. I think that's the biggest hand he's ever received. They just don't. They don't get it, Mitch. You're great. Thank you. Very much appreciated. I'd like to thank another man whose principled leadership has earned widespread admiration, Chairman of the Judiciary Committee, Senator Chuck Grassley. Thank you, Chuck. You. We are grateful to all of the senators on the Judiciary Committee who fought so hard for this confirmation. Senators Lindsey Graham, John Cornyn, Orrin Hatch, Mike Lee, Ted Cruz, Ben Sass, Jeff Flake, Mike Crapo, Tom Tillis, and John Kennedy. And thank you also to Rob Portman, sitting right here. Thank you, Rob Portman. And finally, we are indebted to Senator Susan Collins for her brave and eloquent speech and her declaration that when passions are most inflamed, fairness is most in jeopardy. How true, how true. Brett Kavanaugh is a man of outstanding intellect, a brilliant scholar, and his credentials are unsurpassed. A graduate of both Yale College and Yale Law School, he has taught at Harvard, Yale, and Georgetown. When he's not working or with his family, he's giving back to his community. He spent 26 years in public service, and just like Justice Gorsuch, he clerked for Justice Kennedy. 
For the last 12 years, Brett was a judge on the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals, widely regarded as our nation's second highest court. During his tenure, he authored over 300 opinions distinguished by their masterful and impartial reasoning. Known as a judge's judge, he is a fair-minded, unbiased, and even-handed person. He understands that justice must be divorced from the passions of the day, tethered instead to the enduring foundation of our republic, the Constitution. Justice Kavanaugh fills the place left by Anthony Kennedy. Soon, Justice Kennedy will administer the judicial oath to Brett Kavanaugh, just as he did last year for Justice Gorsuch. This will be the first time a Supreme Court justice has ever sworn in a former clerk to take his seat. A beautiful moment which reminds us that freedom is a tradition passed down from generation to generation.